All right, Dave Mate, circleofdrink.com. Lately, been talking about Erva Mate or Erva Mach, as I say it in Portuguese. And maybe you've seen this beautiful baby right here. This is the Sabado Cup handmade quia, not a gourd, a quia, C U I A. That's what they call it in southern Brazil. It's basically a calabash gourd, a squash plant, or porongo, if you will. Uh, everything's handmade. We did some uh, natural rubber, rubber designs. We got a nice little chrome base right here. Comes in three different sizes. They're original, which is a little bit larger. Uh, and then we have the uh, chalice, which is the largest one. And then we have this nice little small baby. This is the copita. It's about the shape, just as much as it, as it is with the size when it comes to the different uh, categories. This is the copita. So, I still got a lot of uh, questions about Erva Mach. What is it? What's going on? Of course, we're drinking Cultivada. Really nice, smooth uh, Erva Mach from southern Brazil. This is one of the most authentic Erva Machs on the planet Earth. You got to try this. Circleofdrink.com. Check out Cultivada. Comes in different types. This is the Nachiva. Uh, which means that the, the the plant, most of this composition, most of the herba in here is about 70% native plants or nativa plants. Those plants are considered five, uh, 50 years old, 100 years old. They got to they gotta be up there in age. The older the plant is, the sweeter and lighter it becomes. That's why this is super sweet, super light. Nothing's added to it. It's just natural taste of Brazil. The best way to drink this mate, since it's so fine and powdery, as you'll see in a second, is out of a quia. Because you need to get a lot of erva in there to, to properly enjoy it. You just need a lot of volume, high volume. So, let's get into it. Okay, this is actually a good opportunity to show you what this device is. This is a mate shaper. You're going to need this. If you're serious about erva match, you have to have one of these. We hand make these in, in uh, Jamaica. They're made by hand, so you're going to see the rusticity of them. We literally hand drilled these holes in here. No machinery, just simple tools. Literally made in the forest of Jamaica. Got a, a small team out there supporting local community of Jamaica, paying them a fair trade price. Uh, you know, we're running a circle of drink workshop out there. It's a wood workshop. Uh, so we get these fine tools made out of Jamaica. We love them. They work perfectly for Irva. Let's see. So this is the Mate Shaper, the Larga. Larga means fine, uh, wide in Portuguese, so we call it the Larga version. And as you see, that version's not going to fit in this. You need one that fits. That's why we made two. Now we have the narrower version right here. This is the, uh, the, the smaller one. I'm not even sure what I'm going to call it yet. Let's come up with a name right now. This is the Larga since it's wide. So this one we'll call, I don't know, maybe the Fino. F-I-N-O, fine, Fino. That means narrow. And you put that in there. Now you take your erva and you put it in the hole on one side. You just fill it up all the way on top. And for a lot of people, there's a lot of uh, pause. There's a lot of concern when it comes to making this erva. I understand. But once you figure out how to properly make this, believe me, you're going to be in heaven. This tastes like nothing else on the planet. The Argentinians love to age their mate and it turns all yellow and brown. And I love it. We sell tons of it. And I drink it still, but I gotta be honest, I've been drinking this every day for the past three, four months, and I just can't stop drinking this Erva. It's lighter on your system because it's not aged. The day that this is picked, it's packed. Let me repeat that. The day that this is picked, it's packed. Think about the bioavailability. All you chemists and biologists and people in the science world, bioavailability. How active and available are the compounds? in this Erva compared to the Yerba of Argentina. Now, I'm not trying to create a big comparison. I just got to speak the facts. This is raw. This is amazing. You drink this and you're going to have a bright, lovely experience. Trust me. So, now you got to have the whole thing. If you're going to get this and you're going to get this, you may as well get this, to be honest. This is your shaper. The reason you're shaping this is for many reasons. You just bring this up and you start shaping. You're gonna get a beautiful little shape. You don't even have to start shaping right now. I kind of jumped the gun. You don't need to start shaping right now. The next step is to add your water. So add the water behind in the water hole where there's no, you'll see there's a void down there. Add it in that void. Keep the mate shaper in the middle. 
This is also a Mate Shaper Preciso. We're calling this the Mate Shaper Preciso for pre precision. And you let this absorb for about a minute, 30 seconds. The key to drinking Erva is to maintain this mountain. It has to be strong. It has to be powerful. I invented a term. I'm calling it Muddy Mate. If this Mate turns into sludge and mud consistency, it, you're over. It's, it's done. Throw it away. You messed up. The key is to have semi-translucent water. The water needs to be semi-translucent. Obviously, it's not going to be perfectly clear, but when you pour more water into here, if it's, if it's semi-translucent, you know the physics of it is that the particles are compounded. They're, they're, they're basically turning into cement. But if those particles enter here and it becomes too many fine particles, it turns into sludge, and you will not be able to drink from the Bombisha. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more Erva on top. Don't be scared to add a generous amount when it comes to making Erva. You need a generous amount. Now you take your shaper after a minute has passed or so, and you shape it. You get it nice and beautiful. This is just as much about beauty and aesthetics as it is about function. This is where function meets design. So here you have an opportunity to design this. Make this nice and pretty. The practicality of it is you're, you're strengthening the, the wall, the mountain of Mate, what I call it, the mountain of Mate. Strengthen it, press it down. And it prevents this from blowing away. If you're driving in the car, a windy day, whatever it may be. And it also makes it pretty and nice. That's why you're using the shaper. Very important tool. You see now what this is? Beautiful. Now what you do is, here's the trick. You pick this up 45 degree angle and you start to shape. You know, I kind of jumped the gun so it's not going to be super pretty, but you get the idea. You start, you pull this out, you shape. You bring this back. You see what I'm doing? You have to get this kit because there's nothing else out there. I, I invented this in terms of, you know, this wood combination with this gourd combination, with this technique of drinking. You're not going to ever see this on the internet. You will now after today, but you shape that up. You get it nice and pretty. And now, once you have a beautiful situation like this, you could even do techniques. You pull this out and you put it aside. Now, very important, you take your bombisha or bomba, as they say in Portuguese. Honestly, anyone will work. <laughs> yes, obviously, it's easier. It's slightly easier the more holes, what I call filter count. I had to invent a term a couple years ago called filter count. Kind of like how you have thread count. Well, now you have filter count. The more holes, the higher the filter count. This is at least 200. 180, 200 filter count, which is good. But if you had 50 or 60, it'll still work. It'll just be much harder. Now, instead of going in parallel, you go in perpendicular. Very important. Not parallel, perpendicular. You want to go in perpendicular, put this in perpendicular like this, and now tuck it to the side. Again, this is about function as it, as it is as much as design. Functionality, because now this is not going to be moving around. Once this is fixed, it's not going to be moving around when you set it perpendicular like this. But if it was parallel to the mountain, then this could play around. You don't want play things playing around when you, when you drink an Erva. You just want something fixed. The more play, the more uh, propensity for muddy water, muddy mate. If you get muddy mate, dump the whole thing out, start all over. The water must be semi-translucent. Let that s sit there for a second. Now you add your hot water. And you maintain this wall right here. Add your hot water. Add your hot water, and as you can see, the water is semi-translucent. You can still kind of see the water is light. If it's not a muddy situation, if this was pure mud and gooky, you know you messed up. So then you take your first sip. You may be able to hear that beautiful slurp. Tasty, tasty herbal. It's just so light. It's just so clear. It has a little briny, almost like a little pickly, if that makes sense, with sweet caramel nutty tones. Incredible. If you don't consider Yerba Mate gourmet, something's wrong. So, as you can see, I'm enjoying this first one. Uh, as you could hear, it's going through. And if you have any little problems with it coming through, this is a technique you're gonna use for the first few cycles. 
uh, you pull this up as you're drinking. So you take a sip and you pull this up about half an inch if it becomes slightly clogged, which is totally normal in the first couple cycles. It might be a little bit hard on the draw. So as you slurp, you pull this up. So it's like a, you're pulling it up. You hear, you wanna get to the bottom. Beautiful, you see that? Just finished that first one. Then you just keep on adding water here. Now as you saw in my videos that I made in Porto Alegre a couple months ago, there were all these techniques that my friend Junior taught me when you could like take this now and break some in if it becomes lavado or tasteless. You just break a little bit in. But all the while, while you're drinking, you just keep on maintaining this beautiful shape with your mate shaper, okay? This is the mate shaper preciso. Preciso for precision. It's nice and fine. And then you could get really fancy, take your thumb or cloth and just clean that up. You see? As you'll notice, the Brazilians really love making things look good. The Argentinians, they're, they're just gonna throw it in there and drink it. Yeah, some Argentinians may go a little nuts and do things, but they're not like the Brazilians in terms of like the, the fashion or style, if you will, of the, the ecosystem. Remember that term? Ecosystem I was using a while ago, the mate ecosystem. It has to look good, it can't just be thrown together. You wanna treat this as an art. And you take your shaper, that's why we have this tool, and you see, you maintain that beautiful look. So just to do a little quick recap, we're drinking beautiful cultivada. This is Nachiva. Nachiva means soft native flavor. We have the Moita Grossa. Grossa means medium cut, stronger flavor, more robust, not as fine in terms of particles. It's a little bit more coarse, so that means medium cut. And then we have all the flavors as well. You'll have to check out Circle of Drink for that. So if you have any questions, let me know. And just to continue this slight little recap, we have the Mate Shapers. We have the thin one and the large one, the, the wide one. This is the, the, the Fino and this is the Larga. Okay, you wanna get one based upon the width of your gourd. Uh, what we're going to do for you is when you order this kit, if you select one of these, we're going to physically try and test it, which one fits. So we're going to style this for you and select the right one for you to fit your specific gourd. And this is also a mate shaper, but it's used for a different purpose. It's used to shape up the mountain like this. Keep it nice. Keep it tight. You don't want that wall breaking in unless you do it intentionally to add more flavor. Put this perpendicular to the mountain, not across from it, and keep on adding your hot water here. And that's it, folks. Circleofdrink.com. All these products will be available. Right now, we already have the Cultivada available. We already have the Sabado cups available. We're gonna have these on the site soon. Right now, we have the original ones, which are a little bit uh, larger. And actually, let me show you that one. This is the larger, larger one. And this is more of the original size. As you can see, it's slightly taller. All right, folks, circleofdrink.com. Take it easy, enjoy your summer or winter, or fall or spring, wherever you may be. Many blessings. Peace out, gracias, obrigado.